Hi, this is Sherry Veronica and I got this blog and they asked me to publish it and it's regarding a lady who died. Her name is Sydney Pollard. She died and she had two sons and since Sydney died, one of her sons who was married, he died. All He died since she died and the wife of the son that died, her name is Zanina Pollard. And like I said before, Sydney, she had two sons, okay? And this writer is saying that the one son who is alive, he's living in the house, okay? And they're saying that when the older lady who died, when she was sick, you know, this person who is making that particular claim now in the Supreme Court, I'll go back down there again, they were nowhere around to help her and the other son that was not named when the brother died it seems as though zanina didn't put the brother's name in the paper it's like she wanted to erase him that's what it's being implied here okay you know how you put a brother if you have a sister those names will go in the brother's name did not go in to the paper so you know it's like it, no acknowledgement that there's a brother but anyhow this lady is from St. Vincent. She she says Zanina, uh, but it's Zanina, something like that. When you go down, I'll go back down again. Um, she's out of St. Vincent. And the, this person is saying she's tormenting the son who currently lives at the house and is fighting. She's fighting other family for the land that does not belong to her. And she filed this motion in the paper claiming to be the executive of the land and the house how can you be the executive of generational land and house is generational wealth well not maybe not wealth but it's gen it's something that's handed down from you know ancestor to ancestor to you know great 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 whatever it's handed down so here it is in the paper that this is the she, but she's saying that she's listed in the will so who's carmel is carmel her daughter so this is zanina Petronilla, Petronilla, oh, Pollard, and Carmel, Theodora, Pollard, oh, oh, they, they must be related, but she's saying that she's named in the will, so is is it that she, she wrote the will? Did, did she prepare a will that was fake and, her, and put her name on it and her daughter's name on it, or is Carmel the son that died? This thing needs to be further um, looked at okay and she had this Zanina had an attorney prepare this thing so I would advise the person who sent this to me to contact this attorney here Susanna E. Y. Thompson Susanna E. Y. Thompson contact her and let her know that there's a protest and that how could a daughter-in-law be named in the will of a deceased when she was nowhere around to help the lady i don't know how long she was married to the son and the other son is living in the house and the house and the land is handed down generationally okay it's handed down from family member to family member and this particular zanina petrol nilla pollard is out of saint vincent i don't know if she has Barbadian citizenship but this this has to be worked out this this should be easy to work out and the question is from, from me from me is this is the will fake did she did this person here Zanina prepare a false will and then herself in the will because how else can she be asking for a way a will to be probated and and asking for her to claim whatever is stated in that will as being owned by a Sydney Pollard, if it's not real or is it real? Is it fake? Okay, to the person who sent this to me, this is the person who prepared this public notice, Susanna E. Y. Thompson. Contact her and maybe maybe I, I guess I don't know how much what you can afford, but you probably need to hire an attorney you probably need to just hire an attorney and have them look at this because 
if the other son is alive and you're saying that this property and the house, the land and the house is usually handed down from generation from generation, but it stays in the family. The in-law, which is Zanina Pollard, is she saying, well, I'm family too. Ain't I family too? You know, how, you know how it goes. I'm family too. I was married to the son, so I'm family by marriage. I don't know. I don't know. You have to hire an attorney. You have to get an attorney. And in the meanwhile, get in contact with the Thompson woman. The, is it Susanna Thompson, E.Y. Thompson? Get in contact with her office to let her know that the will that she is asking to be probated in the Supreme Court may be a forgery. All these things. Use, use those words, forgery, and let her know that there's another son who is living in the house. Let it be known. Let it be known. I did my, this is the first jump. I did this. So it's the first acknowledgement that whatever was submitted in the Supreme Court may be, may be a forgery, but you have to take it forward from there. Don't, it can't just be naked departure. You need legal help. Okay. This is Sherry Veronica. And good luck.